Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kim and welcome to my radiology channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about um, an anatomic variation that, uh, that I've run into, I want to say maybe once a month or so, and I look at, um, we look at about anywhere from 60 to 90, maybe about 100 scans a month. And so the prevalence would be just from my clinical experience, uh, perhaps like 1% or a little less than 1%. Uh, and that is uh, hypoplastic maxillary sinus. I have already oriented the patient's head and the scan where I think it's well um, positioned to uh, to demonstrate discrepancies in the size of the maxillary sinus. Um, if this patient is not positioned correctly, sometimes you can make one side bigger than the other side. So um, I think I've done that for the most part. And as you can see, um, this maxillary sinus, this is a right side and this is a left side for your orientation. And as I scroll the volume anteriorly, I hope it's, it's subtle, but you hope you can appreciate the overall size and dimensions of the right maxilla, excuse me, maxillary sinus are smaller than that of the left side. Okay, it's smaller. Floor is located more superiorly. Even the lateral extension or the lateral wall of the maxillary sinus doesn't go quite as far to the, uh, the suture that you see. Okay, so that's for your reference. This is what we're seeing on the contralateral side. So let me continue to scroll forward. And <clears throat> of course, we need to look at the axial plane as well. And perhaps we can better assess at this particular level, overall size and shape is certainly smaller. Does that necessarily compromise patient's ability to breathe and has any other clinical connotations? Not that I'm aware of. I'm, I'm sure if it's too small and there's an obstruction of the osteomedial unit, uh, it could certainly have some clinical implication, but at least not in this patient's case. Osteomedial unit is patent bilaterally. Here you see, right? Uh, here's the unsinate process and infundibulum, it's patent, so that's great. And so as far as I know, in most cases, these patients with hypoplastic maxillary sinus are usually unaware of the finding because it probably has never been an issue for them to seek a medical care for it. So it's most, in most cases, these are incidental findings. Thank you very much for your attention. That's all really I wanted to talk about. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.